and I'm going to take on the first trainer in front of Brock, which will probably go terribly because I don't even have any type of Pokemon that's the right type. But we're just going to see if we can get past him. Now there's a trainer in the Pewter City Gym before Brock who's got like a Sand Shrew, I think maybe a Geodude. Now there's a Weedle. I'm going to try to catch one. I'm going to guess Ember's going to wipe you out. Yeah. Okay, well, that's fast enough that it's decent experience at least. But if we can get one who survives it, we'll know they're worthy to join the team. Never caught a Pidgey. Ah, oh, there you go. See, worthy to join. That's how we know. Alright, now we have a Pidgey, which at least is a flying type. Though I think that Spearow, when you first get him at a pretty low level, he, he, he has Peck. Though it looked like they used Gust on me, which I don't remember Pidgey starting with Gust. So maybe that's something that changed over time. Bunch of birds. It's for the birds, man. I'm not gonna waste an ember on that. Take that. I feel like it was level 12 that he get. I don't even remember what attack. I just feel like it was around level 12 that Charmander got an attack that helped with Brock. Alright, so we already have this. I missed the little icon in Fire Red that tells you when you have a Pokemon or not. That's going to be increasingly difficult if we try to keep our Pokedex counts high. At least there's only 150 in the game. Last time I used Ember, it was a level 3 Weedle, I believe. But I think I was level 10. Okay, you know what? <laughs> the Ember approach on a bug may not be feasible. Though, if I can catch, like, a level 5, that will save me a lot of time. Let's see, back to level 3. Though, the test still stands. You can withstand the heat. Uh, nope. Goodbye, Weedle. I'm for sure you could catch a Caterpie out here. Well, if I do get Charmander to level 12, and he learns something new, because I don't remember what, but if he does learn something, I'll switch him out and I'll put Pidgey at the top of the party and have Pidgey go level up in the forest. Looking for a Caterpie. I'm going to keep this flame test. But because of the type disadvantage that Weedle has, that he may not be able to survive that. I feel like we got to be getting close, Charmander. Charmander is level 12. And no, he did not learn an attack. Alright. 
I must be mistaken. I don't remember what level. I just remember him learning something that, that made, made it possible to get past Barak. Okay. Let's see if at level 4 you're strong enough to beat something on your own. Pidgey up front. I do like that I have a little graphic icon for Pidgey to know that it's a bird. Though the sprite work is rather limited, so... Oh, you don't even have type advantage. I'm out of here. You know what, here, let's go into the forest. We less likely to find Rattatas in there. So we run into a Pikachu, then we could run into another type of rat. So the odds of that happening are very slim. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Very low chance that I will see Pikachu. That's that's so low. That's never gonna happen. Never gonna. Okay, that's fine. I had to at least tempt fate a little bit. The good news is, Pidgey, you are in absolutely no threat. I'm pretty sure that Kakuna can only use Harden. So, we're gonna have to sit here for a while, because every time he does so, we're gonna do less damage, but despite being at a level disadvantage, your attack having type advantage will make this not take incredibly forever. <laughs> Though these are pretty much the best thing you could run into inside the Viridian Forest when you're leveling up this early, because they're basically no threat at all, and you can use any Pokémon to fight them as long as they have the power points to withstand the onslaught. See, I think he's already reached the point where his defense can't go any higher. Yeah, nice job you leveled up. I, mean, I guess that means you've learned something. So, next fight, we'll test it out. really lucky. You are very lucky, Pidgey. He's even higher leveled. What? Okay, so let's see. Is that sand attack? It is sand attack. So, so unnecessary. Now, him knowing sand attack actually can help quite a bit with the fight with Brock, because Brock's onyx is brutal. Very, very, very strong. But, if you can throw some sand attack at him, get his accuracy down, you can actually kind of whittle down onyx's health. of a one-two punch. Set him up with the Pidgey, and then Pidgey just has to hold in there long enough to get a couple of sand attacks thrown at Onyx's face, and then use whatever you have to try to take him down. There we go, level six. Okay. I wonder if in red the Weedle family is the more common one, and then blue, it's the Caterpie. Because I feel like in the later versions, they didn't make it such a big divide, but I have seen, like, no wild Caterpies. And tons of Weedles, and now several Kakunas. That, that must be the case. That this is, this is strange. That whenever I would play this as a kid, I was always playing with, like, my friend or my brother, and whatever I would catch, I would just catch an extra one for him, and then we would just trade. So it was really not such a big deal when it came to the exclusives. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to complete the Pokedex without pulling off some rather crazy glitches on my own here. It's ironic that the Weedles are actually a bigger threat than the Kakunas. I'm just going to run. Save my attacks for something stronger. This does make me curious to know if it's impossible to catch a Caterpie or just very, very low. I don't know the wild encounter rates for this area. Okay, well, got another Kakuna. Can't complain there. Right, 
So my plan is... After this, we're gonna go heal, and I'm gonna take on the first trainer in front of Brock. Which will probably go terribly, because I don't even have any type of Pokémon that's the right type. But, we're just gonna see if we can get past him. 